Hey guys, so I just want to do like a quick update. It's been about a week since I announced that I was going to comb out my locks. And, I mean, there you can still see them, but yes, I have kept my word and am combing them out. It is just taking far longer than I expected. So, <laughs> um, to give you an idea, as you can see, my hair is still here, but um, I started in the center and... There's a section, there's a section, there's a section. Got a few little sections here going. So, you know, put it all in perspective. That's how much of my hair. I don't even know if this is, like, seeable. It's probably not. I have done. Um, still got a long way to go, <laughs> as you can see. Um, I definitely recommend starting at the center of your hair, especially if you have a job and therefore um, need to go to work and don't want to go to work looking a hot mess. So what I do is I just put my hair in a ponytail and like a bun and never, no one really knows at all that I'm going through a major transition. Um, <laughs> for all of you thinking about considering starting locks purely for the idea of just having them for like a year, year and a half to like retain length. I would strongly recommend not doing that because combing them out has just been a bit of a pain. Um, I will say this though, it, it gets a lot easier to comb them out once I get to the section of my head where I started interlocking because the levels are, the hair is just folded on top of each other. And so, like, picking it out, it's like it picks out in those layers, and it becomes a lot more easy. So, if I ever do get another set of locks, which I think I will, you know, eventually. I mean, you know, I'm doing that three-month, give myself three-month thing. Um, but if I do that, I will definitely interlock from the get-go and not um, retwist, I guess, would be the word for it. Um, you want to see how much hair I have already? Let me go get it. It's, it's crazy time. Be right back. I literally just left and came back. In the middle of the video. That's what I do. Yeah. So I've been keeping the bag of my hair. Let me tell you. Look, look. Oh, what's that, Elise? Oh, nothing. It's just, you know, three years of shedding that I didn't do. None big. It's three years of shedding. What's been really gross is that I have been able to, like, literally comb out the buildup in my hair from product when I was first starting out. It's pretty nasty. <laughs> just throwing that out there. But, um... And this is just you know, that section. That's just, you know, this middle section I got going here of hair. I will say this, I'm very excited. I'm very, I like how it's so soft and thick. It's nice. It feels like my, my hair can breathe a little bit, and I'm noticing that now that I've combed out all the nonsense, just feels like it retains moisture a little better. I don't know. Maybe that's just me and just being like, it's different, mm -hmm, you know. But I have retained a good portion of my length. Um, see, like, here's one. You know, see how long a lock is and put it next to it. I did lose the first couple of inches, but, you know, I expected to lose something. And you, I can tell the ends, a lot of my ends are just dry. Like, they're so dry and broken. I'm definitely going to cut them off. You know, I'm going to trim my whole head again and just start fresh. So, but even so, considering that, I've, where did it go? Yeah, I kept, you know, a good, a good portion of length. So, it's not horrible. Um, so, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to take about another <laughs> week, maybe a week and a half to finish my entire head. But I just wanted to give you all an update of how it's going. Slowly but surely, I am making, you know, it happen. So, that's me. <laughs>